guys, it's Kelly. I'm back with another process video. This layout is for stock sketches, and I just had a copy of the sketch up. This is for the February 15th reveal. Laura actually made two sketches. Um, one of them she wasn't quite pleased with, although I thought it was great. You know, sometimes we can be our own worst critics. And um, I believe I'm using the original sketch that she posted. So I pulled out this old photo of my mom. There is some writing on the back of it that says she's six years old. So I'm just going to do this layout and, I, you know, it's basically about preserving this photo. And I'm not going to say any journaling or anything like that. I just wanted to get this in an album because I thought the photo was just so very sweet. So the reason why I chose this sketch as opposed to the other one that Laura created was because I knew that I wanted to use this, uh, that floral paper in the Reagan kit from Felicity Jane. That floral paper and one of the other papers that has, um, it's gray with some trees on it. Those two were the reasons why I purchased the kit. I just thought it was gorgeous. So for me, when I love a paper like that, I really want to showcase a bit of it. And I felt like with this uh, sweet photo of my mom that I would be able to do that. So I have asked, I've been asked questions before what I do when I am scrapping these older photos. Do I use the originals? No, I don't. Um, I either scan them or I take a photo of the photo. Now, scanning them is going to most likely have the better result. But I was upstairs and I didn't feel like going downstairs to scan the photo. So I thought, let me just see how this does when I take a picture of it and print it. And you guys, this is like really good. You know, it's not very sharp, but the photo wasn't very sharp to begin with. So I was very pleased with the way that this came out. Um, what I do with the originals is I will put them either back you know, in an album if that's where I pulled them from or back in a photo box. I don't have a great system. I'm still working on that though. So what I've done with this photo is it has some of that, that peachy tan undertones with it. And I thought that these colors would look gorgeous with it. And I wanted to pull out just a bit of the gray just to provide some contrast. And the roses with the leaves have gray in it as well. So the colors, of course, since it is a kit, work beautifully together, but I just really felt like they worked beautifully with the photo, and that is what I'm about. If I'm not going to be, you know, documenting a story um, and the focus is more on the photo, then I want everything to have a purpose. So there is a circular element in the layout, and it should be no surprise that I'm going to choose a doily. What I am doing is trying to figure out what size of doilies, uh, of, of doily that I want to use. I have four, five, and six inch uh, lace Cambridge doilies that I purchased either off of Amazon or eBay. And I'm just going to layer one to the left of the photo. I originally thought I was going to keep the sketch the way, or keep the orientation of the sketch the way that uh, Laura presented it, but I really like the direction of the pattern paper following the the length or or the height, following the height of the photo, and I just felt like it made a better balance. So that is the beauty of a sketch. If you don't like something, just change it. So this is a gray and white pattern paper that you are going to see me play around with quite a bit. And I, you know, put it under, you know, take it back out. I, it didn't make that much of an impact. So I ended up deciding that because the impact was minimal, I did not want to waste that uh, piece of pattern paper. I still have a, maybe one full sheet of pattern paper of this kit and I know that I want to try to get at least two more if not three more layouts made with this. This will be my one, two, the third layout that I have made with the kit and I've made a traveler's notebook spread. So I, I'm trying to see what I can do with this kit. I have plenty of kits that I have not killed. I just I really don't want to stick this back with them 
And like I said, I loved this kit so much, I want to see what I can get done with it before I integrate the rest in my stash. So the flat, the, um, the flag, the tag that I have to the bottom cluster is uh, one of the die cuts that came with the pack and it's a smaller floral and I thought originally that it was going to be too much but I just I liked it so I'm going to leave the, t the tag and I'm going to layer the vellum heart with the velour bow on top of it. It does make it pretty thick you know since I'm going to have you know several things on top of one another but for me when I'm doing pages like this, I know that I would rather have a page that I love using products that I love versus having everything flat and being, you know, and then being able to put in like maybe four more layouts in my album. I'm not that worried about it. So I really like the way that it's starting to come together. It's, you know, an easy sketch to follow. There's not the detail is simple and the, the details are subtle. Um, I'm not going to do a tremendous amount of layering of papers. I did layer uh, two pattern papers underneath the photo and I'm going to come back in just a minute and layer some vellum just for uh, like a, another, another layer. Uh -huh. Yeah, that makes sense. But what what I was trying to do is just add a little bit more softness to the page. I keep playing with this Project Life card because I thought that it would be the perfect place to put my title, but I just, I ended up just not liking it. I felt like the small hearts were a little bit too overwhelming for the page and it just took away from the softness. And, you know, when I first started with it, I liked it, but the more that I went on with the page, the more I felt like my attention was going straight to that Project Life card as opposed to the photo. And like I said before, if I'm going to be doing a page, I either want the focus to be on the journaling or the photo or both of those. I don't want the focus to be on my embellishment. I mean, for the most part. You know, sometimes there's embellishments that definitely uh, deserve that, but nothing on this page was screaming that. So I just played around with my title to see where I wanted to put it and I am just going to put it underneath and I am going to switch it from six years to age six. I wasn't sure which one I would like and I just thought age six sounded better than abbreviating years with YRS. So I did pull out this flare button. This is uh, from Felicity Jane. I'm not sure which kit. What I do with uh, my Felicity Jane kits is I will keep them together um, until I've made like four or five pages and then I just dump everything in an iris container and you know pull out things from there. I find that I enjoy going back through and I end up using things that I may not have used you know with the original kit and won't use with the original kit but this at least allows me to go back through my things and use things because I'm all about not leaving things in my stash so this was a piece of pattern no a piece of patterned vellum that I've had in my stash for a while um, one of my local my only local scrapbook store went out of business several years ago and she had several sheets of uh, printed vellum and I bought the silver hearts and I thought okay what better time to use it you've had it in your stash for years and I thought that it made you know a nice layering piece again without really adding a whole lot but it still adds something and it didn't take away from the layout so I do want to go ahead and get this stuck down I'm trying to figure out exactly how much of the doily that I want to show it's not rocket science, really it's not, but what I'm doing with it is I want to make sure that the bottom of the doily doesn't hang below the photo because I don't want there to be an awkward gap or an awkward angle even though the doily is round. So by covering up the bottom of the doily with the bottom of the tag and then not having any of the doily show through, I feel like it just is more aesthetically pleasing. So those are just little things that I think of when I am doing my page. So I do um, 
put a little foam under the flare and that's just because off the edge of the photo there is a little a gap where the the foam is not under the flare and I like it I didn't want it to bend the photo I wanted it to lay flat so I'm trying to figure out what else I want to add to my page and I thought that I wanted to add some of those hearts but it just it felt heavy you know sometimes less is more and knowing when to stop is half the battle so because I didn't like that, I decided I'm going to go on, I'm going to just put the twine in my tag, and I'm going to walk away from it for a second, and then see what else I can come up with. And I decided to pull in some sequins from my stash. Uh, these are from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I pulled out these uh, Tim Holtz word phrases, and I chose Be Your Beautiful Self and Stay Strong. And, you know, the stay strong may not make sense for a photo of a girl when she's six years old. But, you know, my mom did not have the easiest of, you know, lives growing up. And I felt like it just, it was a beautiful sentiment for her. And, you know, she's having a tough time now. So I just want, it's just me, you know, expressing emotion to her if that makes sense. And, you know, it's nothing that I don't know that other people might get without realizing. Anyway, I, I can't even put what I'm trying to say in my words. So we'll move on. So the I'm going to sprinkle a few sequins down in that left-hand cluster, and then I'm going to line a couple of them up around the flare, and that's it. That's uh, the page for me this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and check out the blog post um, that's up on the sketch, the Stuck Sketch website. I will link it in the detail section below and you can see what the other designers came up with. It is, they have some gorgeous pages. So thanks so much guys. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.